All right, Denny. Do you know the characteristics of a mammal? A mammal is the kind of animal uh, that raises its young on milk. Um, most mammals are covered in hair and have a well-supported backbone. They are warm-blooded animals. You're right. Mammals breathe with their lungs. It is an animal. It has four legs. It eats grass and leaves. It produces milk. And it says moo. Girls usually like these. They're soft and they sleep a lot. It says meow. It lives in a bamboo forest. It's a mammal and it originally comes from China. It eats bamboo. It has a black band across its shoulders. It's a land animal. They communicate by bleeding rather than roaring. It usually imitates a doll for girls. Uh, young girls like to play with this. Singular subject plus verb one plus s plus object. In other cases, if the subject is plural, like we or they, the verb cannot use s. The pattern is plural subject plus verb one plus object. The examples are, they communicate by bleeding rather than roaring. Young girls like to play with such a doll. In other examples, the being or to be one verbs are used, like the following sentence. It is a land animal. It is an animal. The pattern is subject plus is or are plus object. It's just nothing, Rita. We get the panda because we won the contest. You know, describing fauna. I tell you the hardest part of the contest. I still remember exactly what Michael said in his description. He said something like this. The panda originally comes from China. It is a land animal. It lives in a bamboo forest. That is why it eats bamboo. It has a black band across its shoulders. They communicate by breathing rather than roaring. Panda belongs to mammals group. Mm, mammals mothers feed their young on milk. They are warm-blooded. This means that the blood remains at about the same temperature all the time. Other mammals are elephants, bears, tigers, cows, gorillas, and many more. Why can many different animals be classified into the same group? Because all mammals are alike in some ways. 